Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Before we start our program about this Muslim scholar who exposed the Quran and the stupidity of the one who made the Quran, uh, there is a Muslim in the chat. Uh, he said something, uh, Muslims always they say. Uh, he said, a Christian prince is a liar. His name is Unity True, James Levara. You should read Ibn Kathir about this verse. Uh, Ibn Kathir proved that CP is far liar. I don't know what verse you are talking about, but I'm going to Ibn Kathir. And in a second, this guy, he will say, I don't like Ibn Kathir. Let us see. Remember, he is the one who advised us to read Ibn Kathir. Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. As you see, this is the Muslim website. Ibn Kathir, chapter 86, verse number 1 to 10. The Quran says that women, they have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. And the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Now what he will say to you, he will say, don't read Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is a liar. But a second ago, he was saying, don't read the Christian prince. Christian prince is a liar. Now, as long as Ibn Kathir is the one who can explain things, well, here we go. Ibn Kathir explained the Quran very well. Go to your prophet, explain that the woman, she have a sperm which is yellow and fine in texture, and the man, he have a sperm which is white and thick in texture. And the child will not be born except from both of them. And where this the liquid is coming from? It's a gushing forth of fluid coming out of the screen of sorry of the screen of the uh, uh, the private part of the woman and the man, and it is the backbone of the man, and the ribs of the woman. So what he will say now? He will say Ibn Kathir is a liar. He will say I don't accept Ibn Kathir. Are you there, Abdul? Are you there? Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. He's dead now. He is not even talking. He's not even moving. You know, that's it. He faint. You see how he faint? Where are you, Ibn Kathir boy? When I am not live on air, they are heroes. The second I start talking, they play dead. This is Ibn Kathir. You ask us to go to Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Here, read with me. And this is why I'm still single, because I don't want to go to the bedroom and then my wife, she take off her clothes and instead of seeing a breast, I see testicles. I'm scared. Backbone, the, the sperm of the man came in from the backbone, this is what science teach. And women, they have a sperm since when? And the sperm of the women is coming from the location of the necklace of the ribs. Huh. Thank you very much for mentioning Ibn Kathir. Now he will not talk about Ibn Kathir. The second I change the topic, uh, you know, uh, I'm not talking about him no more. He will start moving in the chat. It's like, like they are like uh, cats and rats, you know. Now he is not talking. He's, he's dead. What happened to you? Hello? Mr. Uh, uh, what, what's your name? You need the true? You need the true. Okay, here we go. This is the true. Ibn Kathir, what do you do? You play dead. Did you take hashish? Or did you leave Islam or not yet? Anyway, bunch of kids. Now let us go back to our topic. Today our topic about a Muslim sheikh he is from Iraq. <clears throat> and he is asking questions about how the Quran can be from God. Yet the Quran says stupid things as we will. You know, I will let him speak in Arabic and I will translate what he say. And we will make our comments. Now remember this guy, he don't say he is an ex-Muslim, no, he's a sheikh still. All what he say, Quran cannot be from God, it's a stupid book. He worship Allah, but he don't accept the Quran to be the book of God. Listen carefully, and let us see what the sheikh want to say to us. When we say that this is a book from Allah, this is the most insult to Allah. This is the start of the video. The Shaykh, he just said, when we say the Quran is the word of Allah, this is the most insult to Allah. What else?
we should never let a holy God be attached to such a like, stupid thing, you know, that this is an insult. This is the words of a human being. This is a human being words, and there is no way God will say such a thing messed up in the language and in science. They say that uh, 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 Ahmed Qabbanji, this is his name, he is insulting Allah. The fact, no. They are the one who insult Allah. You are the one who insult Allah, not me, by saying that the Quran is from Allah. Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, supposedly he's saying, he never brought any proof that the one who spoke to him is Jibreel. What is the proof? <laughs> he never met him before. He never have. He, ne he never uh, asked for a proof that he is Jibreel from God. He never. He don't know anything about him. He don't even know. They did not ask him. Do you have a passport? Do you have a proof? Anything? So how he knew that this is Jibreel? The guy, he said, I am Jibreel. Muhammad said, okay. <laughs> you know, if somebody says, I told you that I am sent by God and my name is Jibreel. That's it. You take his words. You don't question or prove anything. By the way, the, the video of his channel, it is down in the in the info in case for those who speak Arabic. Alright. <laughs> Again, he's saying again, like uh, it's repeated from the video, that uh, they say that I am insulting Allah. The fact they are the one who insult Allah by saying this Quran is from Allah. There's no way. It's impossible. It's impossible for a great God to speak in, like in such a silly language. All these contradictions. Uh, and the weakness in the Arabic language. You see, the Muslims they say the Quran is amazing Arabic. Do, do, do this guy he speak Arabic? Is he a person who knows what Arabic is? Hmm. He is reading from the chapter of Al Rahman. So he says Al Rahman. He taught the Quran. <laughs> and he will make a comment about that. He says the Quran says that Allah he, he 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 taught the Quran and then he created the human. So he's saying, okay, Allah was teaching the Quran to who? If there's no human yet. And here he's shown you like in, in language like the language, it's stupid. You don't say that. You know, you have to bring things in order. So, he taught the Quran, and then he created the man. Okay, but who you were te teaching the Quran to who? This is not about science. This is about now language, you know, Arabic language. You don't do that. You should say, he created the man, human, and then he taught the Quran. You don't say he taught the Quran and then he created the man. You, 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 you were teaching Quran to who? To the genie? The Quran was sent to the Arab. Supposedly, the one who was created first is the human and then the Quran come. Because this Quran is made for the human, right? Allah, He taught the Quran. To who? We don't know. To who? We don't know. 
هو القرآن بعدين صدر بعد وجود الإنسان. The Quran came long after the after the the human being was created. يقول خلق الإنسان. زين علمه البيان. الشمس والقمر بحسبان. شو شو الشمس والقمر؟ The uh, the the sun and the and the moon are in like in a scale. What does that mean? يعني تدور بحساب. Said this is not important. Let it go. والنجم والشجر يسجدان. And the stars and the trees they bow down to Allah. Okay. So let us see. Actually, the نجم here it's coming not as a star. It's coming as a small plant or like a small tree. But anyway. إذا هو كل الكون ساجد الله خب بعد ليه ليش تخصص بالنجم نجم يعني النبات الصغير. النجم والشجر يسجدان. ما فخر الله الشجر يسجد. I mean, what does God, you know, talking about? Uh, uh, he said that a small plant and tr big plant, trees, they bow down to Allah. I mean, what is this? If this is the God who created the universe, he is proud that the trees, they bow down to him? Small trees and big trees? Huh? <laughs> Shouldn't all, all the creatures are bowing down to Allah, supposedly? Why only you say trees? What's, what's special? And the sky, he raised it and he made a scale. According to science, there is no such a thing. It's called he lift up the sky. According to science, there is no such a thing. You know, he's saying like the earth is supposedly is like a like a ball is swimming in the sky. So how you say we lift up the sky? Not how 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 it's a, it's a ceiling Allah he lifted up. What is that? This is illusion of the stupid ones, the ignorant. Oh, oh, people, don't miss up the scale. The scale is like when you buy and sell. Let's say you want to buy three kilograms of potatoes, so don't uh, cheat and make them less than three kilograms, okay? Okay, this is a good thing. We take an advice. Don't play with the scale, okay? And he says, keep, keep repeating again, and do the same, like, and, and do, uh, be uh, just in the scale, and don't play with the scale. But you just said in the verse before, don't play with the scale. What is this? You, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, if, if you just say to me, don't play with the scale, and we say thank you. Why you are repeating the same thing in the verse just after? The same exactly. It's the same. He repeat again. Now he continued. He can keep continuing saying the same. Uh, once after once after once. Don't play with the scale. This is always repeated, what, what the benefit of it. And then later he repeated how many blessings he gave us. Okay. And then after what? Crazy stuff. And he says, in what in the favor of your God you accuse of a lie? He's talking to who? Who? Those who he's talking to who? Until now, he did not mention he's talking to who? Did not mention neither genie or a human. Then, 
يعني هاي الآية من ال فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ربكما منهما Those who are those, you know, and here it's, it's, it's coming like for uh, two, two individuals. Who are those two? Who are they? Well, shouldn't you mention before you tell us you are talking to who and about who? And until now he did not mention neither genie or a human, so he's talking to who? You know what? What is the connection? He's saying like you, you, you said how blessing Allah He gave to us, and then suddenly you, then you speak about the scale, and then you says you speak about two. They should not uh, accuse Allah of lying. But who are they? Then, بعدين وراها يقول خلق الإنسان من صلصان ثك الفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي هل أنا معقولة؟ Now he's talking, speaking about Arabic grammar. He says grammatically here it's more makes sense. He created the, the, the human uh, f uh, from sulsal wa fukhar. Okay. So this is this, uh, you know like this. Uh, there's a stupid here. Stupid mistakes always. That you don't talk about a, a person before you mention who is the person you are talking about. You, you, you bring, like you say he, but you don't say who is he. You know what I mean? Mention he without saying he who. Who is he? Oh, this is, can be a good long language. All those disasters in the Quran, the Muslim scholars, they claim that this is a, 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 like this is the, the base of a grammar. Like this is a, a, the Quran created this base, which is obviously not from Arabic and it's stupid. But because it's in the Quran, they have to say, oh, the Quran is, must be right. Where you, where you put he before you put the name, you know. You never mentioned the name and you put he before. But this is wrong. Then you put the name and then you put the, 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 the he for or she. The one, this uh, uh, he or she should go back to the person you spoke about already, not the opposite. It doesn't go for someone who will come later. And they say, oh, this is a grammar made by, by the Quran. And they make it, make it a grammar, they fabric, you know, which means they fabricate. Let me explain to you what he is saying here. Because maybe you will not notice unless this website keeps giving me advertising in my screen. Anyway, just to show you the verse he was mentioning about, and here you will see that how stupid this verse is. He says, خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار من صلصال كالفخار Let us hear what he will say and we will die laughing. We will go back here. <laughs> so look what he's saying. You go check any dictionary, you will find that salsal is the same word for fakhar. So how you say he made him from salsal kal fakhar, but what fakhar is a salsal. Salsal is uh, simply is a clay which is heated by fire and this is what fakhar is you see here in translation in english doesn't show but it's stupid it's like saying the water is the same as the water or saying i made you like a glass uh, 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 made, made you 
I made you of a glass like a glass. So when he say here his question, how in the world, the one who made this verse, he say, I made the human the same as Fukhar, which is like, you know, those uh, containers you made them from mud. You know what I mean? What they call them in English? Uh, sounding clay. The one you burn, like you, you, you make it in a shape and then you put it in a fire to give it strength. So he's saying Salsal and Fakhar is the same thing. So how you say I made him from Salsal the same as Fakhar? But Fakhar is Salsal. What kind of God he do not know that Salsal and Fakhar is the same word? It's like saying, I made you BMW like BMW, like the guy when I give me BMW, you know? So, I made you BMW like the BMW. But, but, but this is BMW. No, not, cer not cer ceramic, you know, the one, you know, come on guys, don't make it complicated. Yeah, they, uh... Oh boy, they don't know what I'm talking about. Give me a second. All right. Do you know now what I'm talking about? Ready clay, you mix it together. Usually in the old villages, old days, the women, they step in it to keep mixing it very well, or they use like a very, uh, you know, handmade machine to mix it very well together. And then they put it inside an, uh, an oven with high, uh, high, high heated fire and they heat it and then became strong and they use it in the house for drinking water for cooking you know all this is what they use so the quran says i made you sulsal kal fukhar but sulsal is the same as fukhar so the sheikh is a questioning how stupid this statement is to say that i made you fukhar or sulsal kal fukhar when the, both are the same how that can be a strong language you know what I mean, obviously, the one who wrote the word, he did not know that this is the same word. All right. You say Fakhar is the same as Fakhar? <laughs> you say Pepsi is the same as Pepsi? I don't know. The, the the lord of the two uh, we, uh, east and west i don't know if you will explain this one but i will explain it if you did not all of this have like a 20 uh, interpretation uh, you know the muslims in order to explain how stupid muhammad is they give you all the interpretation trying to solve the problem how in the world we have two east and two west how we have two east and two west? We cannot have two east and two west. But because Muhammad is a false man, he's a fool, he thought because the sun in the winter appear from different place where the sun appear in the, in the summer. So he thought those are two east and two west. You see it? Allah is God. And he is saying he is the Lord of the two East and the two West. Mm -hmm. Right? And look at the Muslims in the chat. We, in, in order to avoid the, the, the disaster we are speaking about in their God, and stupidity, they start quoting different things to change the topic. You know, it's embarrassing. They don't want to say, okay, well, how, what kind of God he think there's two east? That's because the sun appear from different location in the winter. So we think there's two east and two west. Eh, let it go. We go back to the sheikh. He's spanking Allah very well. I like it when Muslims they spank Allah for me. I sit and I'm listening and enjoying. I'm not. I do not need to do the, the, the job. Here we go. Thank you, sheikh. <laughs> Once he say two east and two west. Once he say the Lord of e is east because there is many east, and there uh, uh, and once they say the Lord of uh, uh, many west, west. So what what is that? 
إذا أنت من أول قول له واحد عندنا لو اثنين لو either you say there's one east or two and that's it I mean why you keep saying east east or two east one east just say to us what, what how many east we have just tell us عشرة not ten مو كل مرة في الشكل not each time different one either it's one east or two east not every verse is different story زين إيه بيع تفسير زين مرج البحرين يلتقيان. The two seas who meet. بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان. يعني أكو بحرين بحر مالح وبحر حلو كل كل مفسرين. وبينهما برزخ لا يبغيان. هذا لحد الآن ما يندر وين. The the Quran says there is two seas and between them there is a barrier. And they never met. Until now, we cannot find where is that. Where is this? One is salty and one is fresh. Where we can find them? There is an ocean of salty water and ocean of fresh water. Where we can find them? Where we can find them? معروف عند علماء الطبيعة. Human being, he have now satellite. They went to the space. They have they study every inch in this earth. So where we can find this salty water and fresh water? حتى بعض الأرض ش. They even they knew what is inside the earth. شنو يدرون؟ أما لحد الآن ما شافوا أكو بحر مالح وبحر حلو. Until now nobody found there is an ocean which is salty and ocean which is fresh. Where we can find that? زين. هسا إذا أكو في المكان بعد ما مكتش فيه شنو رابط ويا النع هاي نعمة على الإنسان سب ماكم. And then what what is the connection with this? This is a blessing for a human being. What is that? أنا أقول فبأي آلاء ربك ما تقدم هاي هاي نعمة عظيمة. إذا كان بحر حلو بحر مالح أي نعمة ول ولا حد الآن ما. Where is the blessing when you say there is a fresh water sea and the salty water sea? And uh, where we get that? I mean, what, what, what a blessing. We can't even find it. To talk about we have a blessing of something, should, we should have it where we have it. Nobody knows even where it is. Imagine that the Quran says that Allah he created the dinosaur by a million years ago. How you accuse Allah of lying? But what does have to do with the blessing of Allah by mentioning the dinosaur? For sure, the Quran did not mention dinosaur, but he is saying, imagine. Because this is not something we never saw, we never touch. And then he says, from it, a pearls. And the uh, uh, coral come from it. From what? From the from the salty sea and the fresh water. He's saying, well, the 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 pearls and the coral, those are for kings, for kings. So how this is a blessing from Allah? The poor they never have that. When you say blessing, blessing for who? How how pearls and coral is a blessing for mankind? زين شا على شنو أنت تمن على ال الناس جميعا أنه سأل أقول التفاح البرتقال الخبز اللحم كل الناس يستفادون. If I say that Allah He bless us with apples, fruits, meat, bread. We say, okay, all them, all people have benefit, but by but saying Quran and pearls, this is only for kings. So what is the blessing here? Are you talking to kings only? This is the blessing. And he says, okay, okay, wait. I will, uh, you know, I will, I will, I will, I will have time for you later, later. And he's saying, oh, so he's busy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Allah saying he's busy now. 
فاليوم يجي نتفرغ لكم هاي تشبيه بالإنسان يعني This is a, this is a human talk saying like a human. Okay, a, a, a day will come and I will be not busy. I will come after you. And he repeat the same sentence, which is watch in the favor of your Lord you deny, which is stupid to repeat the same sentence anyway. Some they say this is scientific verse. O oh, mankind and genie. Okay. Some they say it's scientific verse. Let us see what it is. Prove that the Quran is matched with science. He's saying this so many Muslims they say that. He's saying, if you can pass by the zone of the earth and the heaven, pass. But you cannot pass. And then he says, and the Muslim scholar, they say, or this, the one who claims science. <laughs> those the new ones, not the old one, the new, like, you know, new generation, YouTube generation. تؤدل أن القرآن يقول أنه سوف تسعدون بالسلطان يعني السلطان يعني الصواريخ. So you say that some of them like those uh, uh, like Mimi and Fifi and Susu, they say, oh see this verse it says you will not go up to the sky unless by an authority. They say, oh this authority here mean the spaceship. The authority of Allah became spaceship. <laughs> He's making fun of them. This is a discovery, scientific discovery, they say. They don't mention the disaster coming after it. You see, he's making fun of them. So they say to you, this is about Allah predict that the human being will go to heaven, the space, but they will not mention the verse after it, which is a disaster. He send on you flame and copper to burn you, and you will not reveal, you will not be able to accomplish your mission, which is what? To go out of the space of the earth, from the zone of the earth. So it's impossible to go to the moon. Well, they are there, hello? Waslo. Shlonak, Aini, Shlonak. Shun khali ala ayunak. Muslims, are you listening? Those who speak Arabic. Do you, did you hear? How the Quran says you cannot go to the zone of the, uh, out of the earth, and then we, we, he said, he's saying to you, but they are there. How the Quran says that? Well, people, they are there, and they challenge the Quran, and they are there already. Well, those people, they have a suit, they put a, a, a helmet in their head, they went to the space and they, they took uh, like uh, images, they saw the meteor, they saw the stars, and they came back safe, and nothing happened to them. Where is the threat of the Quran that Allah will burn them? They came back uh, 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 safely and they, they win, you know, they accomplish their mission. So where, where this verse says you will never accomplish and let us go to the verse so you can you guys you can see the stupidity here we go here this is about the two body of the salty water and by the way the Muslim they made a scientific miracle about this which is stupid because what the Quran claim you see here they translate it says the two bodies of following flowing water it's not bodies it's two seas it says in Arabic Bahrain this is a lying translation between them a barrier will never transgress, which means they will never meet, ever, ever. The Muslim, they fabricate videos, they say, oh, this looks, this is salty water and fresh water in the sea. That the Quran says they will never meet, they will never transgress. Why? The barrier here is a barzakh, which is a, a dry land, a dry land. So the stupid Muhammad, he thought, as long as we dig into the ground, we have mostly, we find fresh water. 
That's mean we have an ocean of fresh water, an ocean of salty water, and Allah don't that allow them to mix. He put the land between them. <laughs> Say yes. And then here he says, speaking about Allah challenging the human being and the genie to go out of the zone of the earth and the heaven. And the Muslims here, he said, those YouTubers, they say, oh, this is science because Allah, he says, you will not pass unless by the authority of Allah. And the authority of Allah is the spaceship. So the NASA is the authority of Allah. And he said, well, they don't mention to you the verse after it, which is a disaster. Because Allah, he says, if you try to go there, Allah will smoke you by fire and by copper. And he will burn you. And you will never go there. You see it? This is how stupid this Quran is. This is an honest Muslim sheikh saying the truth that the Quran is a hilarious comedian stupid book. And this guy, by the way, he did not leave Islam. He is a Muslim. He believe in Allah, but he said the Quran cannot be the book of Allah. Obviously, this is the most stupid book ever. Arabic is wrong. Science is wrong. Sentence are wrong. History is wrong. Everything in this book is absolutely wrong. So how does it can be from Allah if Allah is God? Isn't it? This is accusing Allah of being a liar because obviously they went to the sky. You know, that's me. Allah is a liar. This is true. If the Quran is from Allah. This is why I say when I claim that this is the Quran is the book of Allah, this is the biggest insult to Allah. The biggest insult. Me myself, I will lift up Allah from such a stupid book. For Allah way higher than this. No way this is a book can keep you from can be from him. This is a this is a words of a human. Cannot be from God. There is no way Allah will speak in such a lakhbatat. Lakhbatat in Iraq in the Iraqi accent I'm trying to explain to you. Like messed up garbage, you know, like lakhbatat. And the funny, the Muslims in the chat, they are saying this is a fake sheikh. I mean, this guy is very well known. He go on TV. He, you know, <laughs> but this is a fake sheikh. <laughs> Even this guy is a fake sheikh. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, you know, did, how come they did not say to him, show us your face? Show us your face. Show us your face. I challenge you, I would debate you. Show me your face. Here we go. He have his name. He have his face. He's a very well-known person. And if you look at the crowd, there is hundreds of people that attend his lecturers where he teach in the mosque. al wal <laughs> Yeah. He says the, 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 the messed up book by language and by science. He says that the Quran says the sky split asunder like a flower he said what is that remember here he's talking about like allah is saying didn't like didn't you see it you know in shakat is summer it's in the past but where 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 this happened when when we saw it because supposedly you are showing us something supposedly we see so the stupid muhammad he described here the when the sun rise when the sun rise how the sky became there's two line there's line of darkness and line i don't know what they call it in english like in the horizon, you will see like a, a thin line of light going up. This is when the sun is start coming, right? So he said here, it is split as a flower. How you 
accuse Allah of being a liar. He says, what does this have to do with how the, the sky is not a flower? What is that? This is a, this is a strong language. What is this? He's saying. The flower is like the sky. How is that? What kind of a language the Muslim claim that this is nobody can, no human can come with this. This is he's saying this is silly, stupid. This is from God. This is a disaster. Look at the disaster. They claim that this is from God. It's a, uh, actually hold on. Let me translate the word ma'sat. Somebody help me. Ma'sat, ma'sat. Tragedy. <laughs> the science in the Quran is a tragedy. He's, he just said that. The science in the Quran is a tragedy. Tragedy. Listen again. They say this is a great example by God. No human can come with it. No one can come with it like it. Nobody. <laughs> Okay, so the Quran says that Allah is the light of the earth and the heaven. He said, this is beautiful, this is nice. So now he want to make it look like something. He give an example of that. How that? <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> so guys, he said Allah, he is the same as the light. He's, a, he's the light of the heaven and earth. And then he starts explaining what he meant by that. And when he starts explaining, instead of explaining what it was very simple and clear, he messed it up. Like, now we get dizzy, we can't understand what this guy is talking about. Look, let me show you what he's talking about. <laughs> he said the first sentence was nice and beautiful. And beautiful, you know, he said it's beautiful. But then Allah, he will explain the sentence, which is simple. That Allah is the light of the world. Okay, now he is explaining that. How that he explained? Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. This is the sentence he is saying. This is nice. This is beautiful. This is easy to understand. And then he said, and the parable of this light is as the following. Like it's as if where there is a niche and, the, and within, it, within it there is a lamp. And the lamp is enclosed in glass. And the glass it wears a brilliant star. Light from blessed tree. An olive tree. Neither an olive. Neither in the east or in the west. Who is oil is well night luminous. Th uh, through fire source. Uh, uh, so what is this? So he's saying, what, what this is this? This is explanation. How Allah light is. So Allah is a lamp in a niche. A niche and then there is a lamp in it. And the, what is the oil tree? And the, what is that? How Allah light became the same as a, a niche. And the lamp in the niche. And this is, there is oil, olive tree and burning. I don't know if you know what niche mean. Do you know what niche? Let us search the word in Google. Maybe we can find an image for you. <clears throat> uh, you know, it's the place where they put, you put uh, the, the candles, you know? Uh, okay. Give me a second.
Okay. This is how Allah light is. This is Allah. And he is inside the niche. And Allah light is coming from olive oil, from an olive tree. And this tree is not east, not west, in the middle of the room. How in the world Allah now explain himself? What a Muslim he understand from this, how Allah became an olive tree and he is a niche and his light is in the lamp. Is Allah burning? Is Allah using fuel? You know what I mean? What happened? The Christian answer me if you can. Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one good except God. Thank you very much. He did not say to him, Don't call me good. He says to him, Why you call me God? Only God is good, right? So he's saying, How you know I am God? Because Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. So he called himself good already. Are you getting busted now? Christian, can you answer me? You cannot answer me, Christians. You cannot answer me. How many times Jesus says, I am good, I am the good, I am the truth, I am the Alpha. Focus with me in your Allah who now he is inside the niche and we are trying to get him out of the niche, please. Are you there, sweet? Hmm? We need to get Allah out of the niche. So now this scholar here is getting Allah out of the niche, trying to find out how Allah became inside the niche. Who put him there? He's a genie in the bar? The niche of Alibaba? He says, the, the, the sentence he wanted to explain is way more clear than the explanation. How that can be? The sentence says, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. It's very simple. And now he want to explain it. He make it so complicated and we don't understand. So what the benefit of this uh, parable? You are, you are going to give us an example about the light of heaven and earth. That's beautiful. It's clear. And you, and you give us, uh, like you say, the likeness, the light of Allah is the same as Lala, which is like a, uh, the candle you put in the thing and with the olive and etc. This is a horrible parable. This is a horrible. You should make you know parable about something way better to supposed to explain, right? <laughs> he says, what, 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 what the Quran is talking about? Allah is like a, a niche, and then the niche is like a lamp, and the lamp is like from olive, olive tree, and, the, uh, and it's not east, not west. What is what he's talking about? What this is about? And look, look how the Muslims are laughing. Do, do, do you hear the Muslim laugh? Do you hear the Muslims in the mosque? They are dying laughing. Listen carefully. <laughs> what the heck is that? He's saying, what the heck is this? And the Muslim, they start they dying from love. They could not hold themselves from the stupidity. You know, the funny is that everybody there is a Muslim. And everybody there agree. This is stupid. <laughs> this is why nobody is shouting at him when I kill him, because they agree with him. <laughs> And now what they will say, this, uh, this guy, he don't speak Arabic. And secondly, show me your faith. I'm willing to go to the end of the world to debate you. Show me your faith. Uh, what's your name? Uh, here we go. He's very well known, Sheikh. His name is there in front of you. 
he have his website he have his youtube channel and you uh, if you're there call him if you're there call him prove him wrong let us die laughing no no he's a, he's an arab he is from iraq he is from iraq <clears throat> okay هذا مثال يسموه مثال بلاغي نقول ان النبي ادعى دعوه بس افرضنا نحن المسلمين احنا بزمن الجاهلي اجى واحد قال لنا انا نزل علي الواحد اوكي هي سين ناو ذيس از ديفرنت لايك ذي بوت تو فيديوز توجذر ريمايندر اوف سمثينغ هي سيد بيفور اوكي ايماجين وي ار نوت مسلم ناو بيكوز هي از مسلم سو هي ايماجين وي ار نوت مسلم and a, a person which is Muhammad came to us in the time before Islam and he says I am a prophet we will say to him what is your proof he will say I saw Jibreel we will ask him okay fine but have you ever met Jibreel before is he your cousin did you ask him where he's coming from, his citizenship? Maybe he's a genie. Maybe you're imagining. No, he will say no. I saw Jibreel. I insist. So what is your proof that this is Jibreel? You have no proof. Guys, can you believe it? Those are Muslims using their brain he says muhammad have no proof that he met jibreel as simple as that muhammad has zero proof that he saw jibreel what is the proof that you saw jibreel nothing the sheikh is here explaining that he have no proof muhammad he have no proof he have no proof that he saw really jibreel no proof. Look, look, one of the Muslims in the chat, he said, Shia are not Muslim. So why, when we ask you how many Muslims in this earth, you say 1.5 billion. Why you count the Shia? You see how coward, you know, you see how they lie? How many Muslims in the world? 1.5 1, 1. and some even this are saying 1.6. Next week, they will say 1.10. They will say 2 billion. Five weeks after, they will say there are 5 billion. Just wait. So, why you count the Shia? So they count the Shia when they want, and they reject the Shia when they want. Hmm. Maybe he's saying maybe maybe Muhammad he saw uh, an, an alien claim that he is Jibril. <laughs> My friend, did you ask him who are you? Where are you from? Maybe he's lying to you. No, 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 I'm very sure. He's saying that Muhammad, he says, no, 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 I'm very sure. Okay, I respect that you are sure, but this is your sureness is for you. How you can make it sure for me? See, guys, this guy is using logic, right? Okay, you are sure that you saw Jibreel. How that can be assured for me? What is the assurance for me that really you saw Jibreel? You said for you, you are sure that it's Jibreel. What is the proof? How you can prove it to me? You believe in something, you say good is, is fine. But the other person, he don't believe in that, so you have to prove it to him. <laughs> the Prophet never provide any proof that this is Jibreel. Never. It's funny. He says he never met him before. He never saw him before. 
he don't he don't ask him for any proof he don't ask him for passport even uh, you know like in in iraq they have like uh, like cobon like you know welfare you know like you know he's not asking for even welfare proof like who are you <laughs> the guy told him jibreel muhammad he believe it but we don't believe in that imagine guys this sheikh is saying we don't believe in such a thing so what is left of Islam then? You see, I'm not going to play all his videos. This guy, he have endless numbers of videos. Each one of them is a disaster by itself to Islam. Look how many, look, look. His videos is endless. Showing you that Islam is nothing but a joke. And now, you will see the Muslims making comment. Islam did fool us and we became a toy. Ustad Ahmed, you open our eyes. Here, this guy is saying, please uh, uh, give us more new videos. This is one we saw before. Okay. Uh, this guy he is not answering the, uh, the person. Uh, this guy is saying, you don't know, you don't know Arabic very well. This is a Muslim now, he's defending. <laughs> uh, this Muslim saying to him, his name is Ahmad Sahir. He says to uh, uh, Ustad Ahmad, You are a genius and wonderful uh, freedom for all. Those are supporters, those are Muslims. You know, Muslims are supporting this person, saying you are telling the truth. Uh, 1000 salute for you, honorable man. All your words supported by proofs and with logic. Please continue destroying the fabrication of the Sunnah and the Shia. All right. I mean, the, the, all the comment is made by Muslims, and all of them they are agreeing with him. Quran is messed up. I don't think he have an English videos. No, he don't, I don't think he speaks English too. No. <clears throat> But anyway, I wanted to show you an example that when the Muslim they say like we are amazed by the Quran, that's a lie. A lot of Muslims they laugh at the Quran. But how many brave will dare to say what this guy? This guy is very brave. You have to admit. I mean, he is not only a Muslim; he's a sheikh, right? Yeah, he is a Muslim sheikh. And don't you see the title? Don't you see his face? Don't you see how he dressed? Until now, you did not get it. So, what the title for? Why is dressed like this? He is a very well-known sheikh. He have his own website. He have an organization. He have a lot of supporters, a lot of followers, and they are Muslims. But I don't know. I, I, you know. Uh, Muslim Nasser, he would like to call me. Okay, now, sir, but if you call me, please, we, wanna, we want you to refute this guy, if you don't mind. I can open the sky for Mr. Nasser, no problem. <clears throat> Text me, Mr. Nasser. I will call you, just to be sure this is you. Okay, now, sir, text me, please. Don't call, just text. I will call you. <coughs> Get some water. <coughs> the throat is dry. Okay, now, sir, he is texting me. I will call you back, Mr. Nasser. Give me a second, please. <coughs> Oh, he's a sheikh. He's a sheikh. Sheikh and Nasser. Nasser what? No, no, no. He, he called himself sheikh. 
All right, my friend. We are calling the Sheik. <coughs> Answer, Nasser. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. You are welcome. You are How are you doing? I'm fine. So you are a Sheik, my friend? Not really, just uh, off the record. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I know some things, but uh, not, uh, I, I don't speak Arabic, you know. Hmm. So, are, are you are you a male or oh, female? Don't. Are you male or female? Oh, I'll try. I'll try. Oh, I'm male. You are a male. Okay. So, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Nasser? Well, uh, I've been watching your videos for a while, and uh, so I know a little bit about what you say, what uh, your debate, and uh, it's on you, you know, your source proof, you know, so we have to, we have to be fair sometimes. We cannot just, uh, you know, refute without uh, considering the, the evidence All right. in hand. Okay. So, but uh, I saw that... Uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, was, uh, uh, you know, he did miracles in the Quran. He, he cured the blind. He, uh, what else did he do? He raised people from the dead. And also, I was wondering, uh, he did so many miracles. And how, what does it mean to us? Why, why, and uh, why do we believe that he's in heaven right now? Whereas, uh, and why would he come back himself? So mm -hmm. I was, uh, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I have a lot of questions in my mind. Okay, so what is, uh, what do you think about all those questions? Like, what is your conclusion? Why he is in heaven? Why he did all those miracles? Why he is coming back? What do you think? Sure. Uh, well, I would just like to, uh, to try to defend, to defend it and, uh, Let's try to see uh, how it uh, how it plays, you know. If uh, if I can defend it or not, I'll try my best. But maybe I, I won't be able to. Mm, but still, I understand. So, what is the what is the conclusion from what you said to me? I'm listening. I'm listening. So, what is why uh, Jesus is coming back? Why he is the one is coming back? Why he is in heaven now? What do you think? Uh, well, uh, I, well, what I would say is what the mushrooms tell me. Right? Right? So the Muslims uh, say that uh, God, you know, Allah brought him to heaven so that uh, he will uh, he will be a follower of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hmm. But still, I don't understand. I mean, I mean, what, what is the point of Jesus being in heaven and Muhammad is dead? What is the point of that? It, yeah, I don't know, actually. Okay. Uh, and okay. Really Why Muhammad have zero miracle, but Jesus have all the miracles can be imagined in the world? Well, yeah. Well, the Quran says that uh, uh, the prophets were, you know, they performed miracles, but uh, people kept, uh, you know, saying it's false, it's false, it's false. So the the last uh, prophet uh, didn't show any miracles, but. Uh, the, I'm not, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, the, the, the shares say that uh, he split the money too, or something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my friend, I don't, uh, I, for me, I thought you are going to debate me, but I see there is no reason for us to talk because you said nothing to me and you are not proving me wrong and you have nothing to say. I don't know. What do you, why you call me? Uh, just, uh, uh, to debate you on, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the Sheikh uh, who, who spoke, I, I don't understand Arabic, but uh, you translated you translated him well. I think uh, he said, uh, well, basically he didn't, um, he didn't have a lot of knowledge. Um, I mean, he had no a lot of knowledge, right. but he, right. his views okay. were different. All right. Okay. No and, problem. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You know, if you say you want to debate me and then you call me and you don't know what you want to talk about, you know, I, I don't have time for this. Obviously, you have no idea what you are talking about. What? 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 what, what, what uh, 
I, I open sky for you because supposedly you want to tell me something. I learned from nothing. We, we know we wasted our time and we said nothing. Any Muslim? If there's any Muslim would like to call. And please, guys, don't use the word donkey, etc. Everybody has have his, his ability. I mean, usually I use the word donkey for those who are lying. The person did not lie, did not say speak bad. That's why you are using this language with him? What's wrong with you? Don't use such a language. The person did not lie, whoever he is. And if you don't like his voice, well, are you better? When, one day you will lose your teeth and you'll see how your voice will come. <clears throat> Take it easy on people. We have a Muslim calling. His name is Abdullah. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Yes, Abdullah. How are you? Uh, because I have listened to your video calls a lot. Okay. I have been, I have seen your video calls a lot. Hmm. And then uh, I think you are refuting the, the the Islam, you know, in a very bad way. Hmm. Okay. So okay. now, now, what do you think? Like, uh, do you think that uh, whatever is written in the Bible is from the from the God, or how, how can you prove that it's from God if you are telling so much? Hmm. Well, first of all, our topic is not proving the Bible. Our topic is about Islam. However, if we go uh, alive and yes. we speak about the proof of the Bible, then we can go for that. However, the Bible is not, you know, it's not what the proof, yes. what is not the proof of our belief. It is what Jesus did. So Jesus is the walking, talking, living word of God. He himself is our Bible. The word, when we say we have a book, this book is telling us the story of Jesus and what he accomplished in this earth. However, our belief in the Lord himself and the book is just to tell us about him. So either we have... Okay, okay. Now, now, yeah, now I want to ask you a question. Hmm. Now, isn't it like the same, like the Quran? Whoever who has written the Bible... Uh, also people no first of all first of all first of all no no you see you see you have a wrong understanding of the bible i just told you the bible tells us about jesus and what he did and what people did too not only jesus as an example you go in the bible you will see this king he said this person he said that person he did so we call it book of god but not necessarily every word there is god talking so when god say that is god speaking when i say that's me saying so let us say you are muhammad and then you saw allah and then Allah says to Muhammad, Muhammad, okay. you are my prophet. Muhammad, he says, okay, I accept. So when Muhammad, he said, I accept to be a prophet. Does that mean this is Allah talking or Muhammad? Uh, sorry, Muhammad, right? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So when we say uh, the Quran, the, when, the when you as a Muslim, Bible. okay, when you are you as a Muslim, when you say the Quran is the book of Allah, not necessarily it should yes. be every word there is Allah speaking. However, the Quran have different structures from the yes. Bible. Why? Because the Muslim claim that every word in the Quran uh -huh. is said by Allah. The Bible, no. The Bible uh -huh. is, we have reporters who reported what happened, telling us what happened there. So if God said, this is God's words, if I said, or the reports have said, that he, what he witnessed. So we have the word of witnesses. We have words of people who was in the incident or in the history happened. They did this, etc. So yes. the Bible is a, is a, is a, a book yeah. of history. A collection okay. of a story okay, at the good. same time okay. collection of what God said yeah. to his prophets okay then don't you think now the, you know when you take the basics all those religions are same because it says that your Lord God is one and we say that uh, there is no other God except uh, Allah hmm. and uh, even uh, even the Jews also they, they say the same thing the, the oneness of Allah hmm. Isn't it, uh, is there any, no no because Jesus he said okay hold on you thing? see the oneness, first of all, you Muslim don't believe in the oneness of God. And the answer is very simple for that, because if you believe in the oneness of God, then you should not have multi-personality God. The oneness should be the same God, wherever you take him, wherever you have him, he is the same person. But if you go in the Quran, you will find multi-person in the Quran. As an example, I don't know if you can see my screen. Uh -huh. 
You can see my screen? Okay, okay. Okay. But just be sure you mute YouTube, please, so you don't have double voice coming. Hear me just only from Skype. Okay, I am. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, when the Quran says, if Allah would like to take a partner, yeah. which is a wife or a son, he will take it from ourself. How Allah, okay. he want to take a partner from him, from, from ourself if he is one. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Yeah, okay. Can you show me the English translation, please? Yeah. Okay, it's in front of you. Chapter 21, verse number 17. You can open it in your computer if you want. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, 2117, yes. Mm -hmm. So how Allah will take yeah. a partner, if it had been, oh, mm, yeah. how will take our partner, and that partner is from us. If Allah is one, he will take partner from us. That means Allah is not one. He called it us. Yeah. Okay, so how he is us, one. Maybe there's something to do with the, with the Arabic, uh, maybe the, the, the language. Maybe it's something to do with the language. What, what, okay. he will take partner, us is us. Here we go, it says, Min ladunna, actually, the translation is not really even accurate. It says, Min ladunna, from our kind, our kind, ladunna, you know, like in Arabic, we say that this person from the ladunna of this person, which means he is from the bloodline, same bloodline, he is like his child, or etc. Yeah. So, he is saying, If I take a partner, we'll take it from us, from our kind. What is, what is the kind of Allah? I thought there is only one Allah. Uh -huh. So, no, now can't, don't you think that because there are angels and everything, so that he's just uh, talking in common? Like okay, us, but hold on. But but, uh, but the angels are not team? us. The angels are not us. Yeah. When you say us, when I, I if I go right now to India, huh, and you say to me how many Arab here, yeah. I say us, right? Us. That's mean all of us are same, mm -hmm. right? When I say us, all of us are same. Otherwise, we cannot put someone he is uh, 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 from uh, uh, Norway between us because you you know we are talking about what god speaking about himself yeah and he making himself one of many and those many are described as us which mean all of them they are equal with this us all of them they are the same so how many allah we have okay hmm. how, uh, how we yeah, have oh, how yeah, we are monotheists you are correct in that case hmm. but there's another, another question now now in the bible no no before before so before we go places, but before yeah, my, my friend my friend David is also god Son of God, David is son of God. So many Israel, yeah, yes. No, you God, say there is son of God. God. No, no. So many sons okay. of God. All right, no problem. You see, the Bible teach that all of us we are children of God, but the Bible teach says in the same time that Jesus is only the be only begotten Son of God. So there's we as a Christian when we pray, and I'm sure you know that we say our Father out of heaven. So we call him what? Father. What does that mean? We are. Yeah. So what if? Metaphorically, we are metaphorically. No, it's not up to you to say it's a good word or not. This is not. It's, no, no, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. You know, you see, you see that this is the this is the, this is the question here we should ask. You know, if I if I am saying to God that is not a good word, how come I don't say to God? You cannot say I'm God. Yeah, this is not a good word too. Where is equality? I want to be equal to you. What about you question God authority? Why you want to send me to hell? Why you created me? Why, 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 why? Because, so no, either, no. either you accept God. No, no, I mean, I mean, begotten hmm. son, begotten son. Isn't it? Uh, it's a bad thing, like. Uh, why? Why? Uh, why, it's bad, why it's a bad? Why it's a bad? Why it's? Why it's a? Uh, why it is bad son? thing? Why it's bad then, thing? You see, hold. No, it means there is some double meaning. That that's mean what? That means there is a double meaning. If I say somebody, if I say son, okay, as a. You know, as a, because he's a, he's a small fellow, it's okay. But if I say a begotten son, that means there is something wrong. I have gone in, you know, I have gone in the wrong way. Like uh, no, you know, simply it's confirming. So, uh, no, it's confirming. It's confirming that all of us we are children of God. But there is only one. He is the only begotten Son. He is a different from us. We are children of God because we love Him and He love us. This is what the Bible says: For God He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son. His only Son. So we are children of God by accepting him, but does not make us the same as Jesus. That because he is our provider, our protectors, and the one who will love us and he care for us. So you yourself, when you when you marry your daughter yeah. to a man, you call him my yeah. son, correct? Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, but yeah, he is yeah. not really your son. He is not. Yeah. He's, he, he, he never he never been in the in the in the in the womb of your wife, right? But you call him my son. 
So we as a human, yeah, okay. we as a human, we have a, we have a terms, we have terms. If I show a small friend, boy, my friend, yeah, and yeah, if I show a small boy and say that he's he's my begotten son, that means you know he's he's one of my son, but not you know like something wrong. No, it says only. It says he's only. He's the only one, and there's no other one. Secondly, you are telling God what you say, what you cannot uh -huh. say. Either you believe that God is Almighty. And he do as he wish or you teach God you open a school for him you take him there says hey God you cannot say that this is not I don't like it you know you need to change it so you know if you want to practice this you should practice it with your religion too to be fair correct yeah that's it so even uh, okay that's right, so are you going to correct Allah are, are you going to correct to Allah my friend my friend I'm, I'm, the, uh, I'm going to use your logic right? my friend I'm, go I'm going to use your logic yeah? are you willing to say to Allah how okay. you say that ones who they are not equal to you, how you call them us, but they are not equal. Isn't this is a mistake? How you say you are monotheist, you are one, and there's no other one beside you. And then you say, if I want to take a partner, I will take it from us. This is a mistake. So you, if you are going to be honest, you should take Allah to school, teach him first how to speak yes. Arabic, and teach him how to use logic, yeah, for I this is not logical. Yeah, that's, that's why I say all the scriptures, they're having so many problems, but what we do is... No, my friends, I don't see... I was born to no, a Muslim no, family. No, 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 I don't, I don't so see, I don't see, family, I don't see the problem. You were born for a Christian family. My friend, we is, don't, my, we don't see, Buddha. you are the one who see the problem. For us, we don't see it very, for, for a very simple reason. The Christianity is based in the Father, the Son, yeah. the Holy Spirit. It's not something, it's not a sentence to like or not. So Christianity is based on, we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three person, one God. Now, if you want to say how God can be three, and yet he's one, well, you can say how he can be God too. Yes. We call him Almighty because he can. If he cannot, then he cannot be Almighty, correct? So yeah, so can't you do this, uh, can't you apply the same thing on the Quran also? Because No, okay, I, I will show you. So, okay, hold on, hold on. So he say us. No, 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 no. You see, when he say us, yet, but you Muslim, you say to us, there's no other us. There's no, there's no us. When Allah, he say us, he say we, he meant himself. But suddenly we find he will take a partner from us. So that's, that's proof that Allah is not one. Secondly, when you say as an example, you know that yes. the Christians believe that Mary, she have Jesus without a man, correct? Yes, that's right. Yes, it's, okay. it's written even in the Quran also. All right. Yes. So, when 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 Allah was a question or Muhammad was a question about Allah, Muhammad he said, How Allah he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? How Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Okay. But look at this. If you are God, if you, you are God, you should remember that you are the one who taught us in the Quran that Mary she have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend. Read with me, chapter six, verse number one oh one. Do you see it in the screen? Okay, please, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. To, to him yeah, is due. Late, yeah. yeah, to him is due yeah. the primal oh, origin okay, yeah. of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no concern? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you see, I will use the logic of Allah yes. on Allah and on the on Christianity. Yeah. In Christianity, well, God yeah. did not need no, to have okay. a wife. Yeah. Listen to me, don't, don't, don't uh, listen to my conversation first, and then you make a comment. Yeah. So, how Allah says. Yeah, okay. He is God and he is almighty and yet okay. he, and yet he state yes. clearly that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. This is a statement a human being like me can say. If somebody asks me, Christian Prince, do you have kids? I say, how yes. I can have a kid if I don't have yeah. a woman, yeah. regardless if it's a, a, a wife yeah. or, or okay. a girlfriend. No, okay. yeah. no. So here Allah, he proved yeah, no, to us. Don't you think that he's speaking to the human? So that he is speaking to the human. No problem. So that they will in a human my friend, way. my friend, I, I I like intelligent conversation. When Allah He says, "Mary, she yes. have a son, yet she have no husband." Was He speaking to the human, or He was speaking to the genie? That means he, he was speaking to the human, right? Okay, so he speak to the human, no, saying no, to them, okay, the so he was speaking to human, saying, it's possible that I am God, I can make Mary have a son without having a husband. So how it was possible for him to make uh -huh. Mary have a son without husband, but it is impossible for him, and he is the one now in, in, involved in this story, to have a son without a girlfriend. 
how it's possible to marry, yeah, no, no, to have sure. a son. It yeah. is impossible for him to have yeah, a son. That is because yeah, if he want, he can do anything. He can do anything. Thank so you very much. Thank you, guys. Did you hear my? You did, did you hear him. our Indian yeah. friend what he said? Allah, he can do everything. But the verse here says no. Yeah. How can he have a son if he have no girlfriend? So the limitation of what Allah he can stand next to having a girlfriend. So if Allah was able to go to a dating website or maybe go to the bar and find a woman to sleep with him, then he will be able to have a son. He, he did not even mention the word wife. He mentioned a consort, a girlfriend. So how can, who is the one saying how can? Allah, how can what? He. So how can is a question of ability. What kind of God he claimed to be the almighty and yet he is questioning his ability. This may be a little, you know, like blocking, you know, it's just, you know, uh, maybe while they were, while they were, uh, what do you call this, you know, translating the thing, maybe they did some, something wrong or, you know, maybe something went wrong there. Okay. Now, so now how I can help you, my friend, what, how I can help you, how, what is the answer? How Allah is almighty, he says, how can he? Allah should not say, how can he? For he can always do anything. So what do you say? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's like that, you know, it's the scripture. Now, I'll ask you one question from you. No, 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 don't, don't change it. Why, why we are jumping, yeah. my friend, why we are no, jumping, why we are jumping? As yeah, no, no, same, I want to just compare. No problem, but why we are uh, jumping, the Bible. my friend, else. why we are it's jumping same. from yeah. topic to topic without reaching a conclusion? Are you just calling just to talk or to reach a conclusion? I'm asking you, yes. what kind of God? He is yeah. almighty. He questioned his own ability. It's not me who is a question if he can. It is him questioning. How can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Allah proved to us in this verse that he is limited in his ability and his power. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Right? It doesn't say a girlfriend, right? It says girlfriend. No, it says girlfriend. It says sahiba. Sahiba in Arabic means girlfriend. You can go ask any Muslim who speak Arabic. And even in translation of the Muslim, it says consort. Okay, I try, try, uh -huh. hmm. is, there, is there an interpretation for that uh, somebody, verse? Somebody saying that you are Tony from Sri Lanka? Hello? Somebody saying that you are Tony Hello? from Sri Lanka? I'm from, I'm no, I'm not Tony. Okay, from where? I'm from where you are? Hello? Yes, I hear you. you are, of course, you, I am from Sri Lanka. But, you are from Sri Lanka. But uh, I'm, I'm Abdullah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. I think uh, maybe three, two weeks before somebody spoke. No problem. From Sri Lanka also. No, I was no listening problem. to that. Let us, take, let us take more callers, you know. Thank you for calling me. All right. Any Muslim would like to call? Any Muslim? Who is next? <clears throat> Anyone? Any hero? The God who cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend is no different from a Christian prince who have no girlfriend. He cannot have a son. The God of Mary, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yeah. Uh, son can be from God. Yes. Can you, can you introduce to, Are you a Muslim, my friend? My friend, first, are you a Muslim? Introduce yourself, please. Hello? Are you a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am a Muslim. You are a Muslim. Okay. Okay. How we knew that you are a Muslim? It's in uh, chapter. Verse 37. I, I think you are changing your voice. Doesn't make sense to me. Your voice is not real. Speak louder, please. Uh, chapter 
Thirteen, verse thirty-seven. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. Sounds like you are, you are a fake person. Let us see. Let us see. We have the genius Feruz. Uh, Feruz is calling. This is a real Muslim. Right away, you can't tell who is a real Muslim. Feruz is a real Muslim. He's a brand new. His brain never been used. Answer, Fairuz, answer. Hello. Yes, uh, Fairuz, how are you, Fairuz? Fairuz, by the way, let me introduce you to Fairuz. Fairuz is a scientist. He has many degrees in Islam. He speaks Arabic fluently, and he speaks more than 400 languages except Arabic, English, French, German, etc. But he is expert in the Quran. What do you want to ask, uh, Fairuz? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, you, you, you showed about the words about uh, endless uh, private parts. So can you uh, show me where, where did you find it? I bet you you did not sleep since last night because of the endless private part. I think you like the idea, aren't you? Feruz. Yeah, show, show me, uh, show yeah, me where, I, where I, I saw you yesterday. Yes, show me. Uh, you're asking the same question and now the first thing you come to ask for is this are you dreaming about it are you dreaming about the english no you're lying uh, you're, uh, no no you're lying i never never heard about this and uh, no one ever told about uh, so you're trying to make up so mm. i think you're lying that is why i'm trying to ask all right so if i show you the reference what you would do how is it that you always uh, found, uh, find this uh, bad, bad stuff and uh, we never find it? No, I'm saying. So, there is something. If, if, I, if, yeah. I, if I show the reference that your prophet, he said that you will have a penis, which endless penis, what you will do? Yeah, for, for, uh, first show me. Show me first. No, no, I'm asking <laughs> no, you. I will, I will show you. Here we go. I will never hang up on you until I show you. But before I show you, I'm going to ask you. When I show you that, what you will do? I mean, you are asking me to show you, uh, and what you will do if I show you that? You are showing it from Sahi or uh, Thai? My friend, we will show you. Hold on, I'm asking you now. If this is a true, that you're a prophet, he promised you an endless penis. What you will do? What is next? Show me. I know you are lying. Okay, no problem. But show if, me. Okay, it's, show me, show me. it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But I want to know first if this is true. What you will do? I don't know. I will first uh, see it and then think about it. First, you show me the words. Okay. Where did you found it? Well, I think you have a problem, and this is why you are asking about this question. And I think you are dreaming that your private part will increase and we became so English. And this is, it's okay, I understand your pain. Here we go. Let us show reference, some reference. You know, you hold on, know, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, everybody heard Okay, everybody heard you. Okay, everybody heard you saying I'm lying. And now the reference is in the front of us. I will put it in the screen. And everybody will be laughing at you. In a second, I will post even the link in the, in the, in the chat. And everybody can see and read. Here we go. This is the book, Kitab nikah All right. And let us see where the sentence it says that. What is it? Like Hold, on. Hold on. Hold on. And it is said that if one of you gives someone a gift in the and a gift And it's mentioned that each one of you, he will have an endless penis in heaven. And the vagina will fit for that now you said I am lying I want you to apologize and admit that you are a follower of a perverted prophet and this is value number three page number three five six what we will do now what do you I, I cannot read why well, you cannot read why well, you cannot read why well, you, well, you cannot read here we go I will post the link in the chat you cannot read, no problem. This is your uh, this is your problem, you know, not my problem. But you can use Google Translation. Actually, we can use Google Translation as we speak. Hold on, give me a second. 
let me first post the link for anyone in the you chat. Know, you know that. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. This is the link in the chat. And now we are going to use Google Translation for that issue. Let us do that. Give me a second, please. <clears throat> okay. Now, so Google how, how, Translation. How you, Google Translation. Silent, 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 Abdul. Google Translation will not be enough to explain. I mean, the translation will usually is not correct, especially if this is a classic Arabic language. But let us see. I will go, click, sir, uh, no, search, not search. I won't translate. Uh, translate to English. Okay. Let us see. Hmm? Guys, read carefully with me. This is the Google translation, which is a city translation. Hmm? It's reported that one of you in paradise will be given a meal. This is a meal member. Like a palm robbed tree. This is Google translation. In Arabic, it says a sahuk, which means English. And a vagina fit for that can accommodate it. Do you see it? So what do you say? Peruz. You challenge me to show you, and now we have the reference in the front of you. So, what you will do now? Can you move the move screen to the to the right? I cannot see the full words. My friend, I posted I posted the whole link for you in the chat. You can open it from there, and you can click Google Translation. So now, what we will do? What kind of a prophet he promised you? An English penis. So it is a very, very uh, long. It, 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 Suddenly you are so quiet now. You accuse me of lying. I want you to apologize. Say Christian princes tell the truth, and my prophet is a liar. I am not the one is lying. Here we go. The reference in front of you. Ferus, don't talk to yourself, talk to me. The reference in the front of you, I gave it in Arabic. We use Google Translation. I want an answer. What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? No problem. Now, what kind of a prophet? He promised you an English penis and a huge vagina. Because imagine if the vagina will accommodate it, that's mean the vagina will be endless. That's mean the women she will be thick by millions of miles because it's endless vagina endless penis so the penis have to accommodate it inside the vagina so now look at what we have we have an endless penis and then he go inside something and that thing is endless too how thick the women will be a billion mile trillion mile how deep her vagina because this is an endless penis Are you there, Abbas? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, how, how you, uh, you, uh, you call me liar. I apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I, I, I never heard about, uh, no. Yeah, but yeah, Farouz, each time I show you something, you say to me, first you are a liar. Show me you are a liar. And show me you are a liar. You never learn. I mean, each time you say to me you are a liar, I get you busted. And then you call me again and you say the same. <laughs> so, Farouz, are you, would you, would you stay as a Muslim? Do you like to have your penis in this like this? Is that your dream? Be honest with me. Where did you found? Uh, how, how did you found uh, this? Uh, because you know, this is yeah, first time I'm saying. Who cares? This is why I'm Christian Prince, and this is why I'm here to teach you. If I have no knowledge, why I'm here? How I find? I spend my life studying this garbage. I'm sharing my garbage with you, which is the garbage of Muhammad, it is, it's, in an easy way. So it should be like. A... Hmm? What? Yeah, man. I will. Uh, I will call you later. Okay. Why you, why you call me later? Did you leave, decide to leave Islam now or what? Huh? He hang up. So, 
they call me they accuse me offline then we get them busted and then okay we will call you later what happened to the guy who was excited he want to get me busted i mean and you see i'm not talking about it but you are the one who opened this topic and now we don't want to talk about it no more why because it's very embarrassing well this is your god and this is your prophet Take my advice, never challenge Christian prince. Never. You know, like uh, too much, like I am not in the mood really for fun today. Usually, you know, sometimes Muslims, they challenge me and I make it like I'm looking for it. Okay, once I remember I was debating with a sheikh and I said, he said, I challenge you to find it. And then I said, okay, can you give me time? So he said, no. You know, he gets so more excited when you say to him, give me more time. I said, what about maybe tomorrow? He said, not tomorrow, today now. He gets more excited. I said, but now it's hard to find it. He says, see, guys, I told you. See, I swear by Allah, he's lying. This guy is trying to change the topic. And I say, but brother, but oh, come on, just give me time. Maybe a month, maybe I will find it in a month. And he get more excited when I said the word month. The guy, he went so crazy. He's like, he became like, like a bomb will explode everywhere. Allahu Akbar, he, he need a month to find it, blah, blah, blah. And I have it in the front of me in the screen, by the way. The idiot, if you look at the screen, it's there in front of him. Before I start saying to him, can I take a week? Can I take my, I'm just joking. But he gets so excited, he carried on. Allahu Akbar, he need a month to find it. He was lying. It's not there. He is lying to you. And there's so, hey, Abdul, Abdul, take it easy. It's in the screen since five minutes ago, man. Read it. He said, what is in the screen? He said, the hadith, the one you are challenging me to show you. And then he hang up. I say, hello? Hello? Can you read it? Hello, are you there? Bingo. Once I was debating a Muslim, it was a very hot debate. He said, I need to go to the bathroom. Just give me two minutes, please. I said, okay, no problem. And that was more than 10 years ago. We called the police to check in him in the, in the, in the, because we are afraid maybe a legator, he did eat him in the toilet seat. You never know these days. A sheik, the coward, he want to go to the bathroom. And since more than 10 years ago, he never came back. Never. All right. <clears throat> Oh, look, uh, Farouz, he, he need more time. Guys, Farouz, he need more time to answer me. Hmm. <laughs> As if you have an answer. <laughs> I need more time to answer. <laughs> and you know, here you need to ask yourself, what kind of a prophet this prophet is, the one who su promised such a promise? I mean, what does this have to do with God? I mean, if the, first of all, you have to be very savage, trashy, low-class person to speak to people in such a manner. Secondly, how that will make me believe in God and why size does matter in Islam. The only religion size does matter is Islam. Okay, your wife, she is going to have sexual intercourse with you. Why the penis have to be endless? What about 10 meters? 20 meters actually it's a it's a penalty for any man to have a penis like this because how you can walk with it you see a cat she have a tail she can drag it in the back if it's heavy like the alligator but the penis is in the front of you you want to walk backward how you can carry it is it going to walk in the ground like a snake Hmm? Endless penis? I mean, do, do you even have a brain? What kind of a brain this brain is? This is what happened when you start thinking, and this is what happened to this guy, the sheikh. He started thinking about the stupidity of Muhammad, and because he, you know, it's it's very, uh, like, very, uh, uh, let us say, sad news for him to say, I'm going to be out of Islam. So he started convincing himself, no, uh, Islam is a good religion, 
uh, Allah is a, is a true God, but the Quran is messed up. The Hadith is messed up. The Prophet is messed up. Even he agreed that the Prophet is messed up, guys. Allah is not messed up. I mean, how in the world? Are, because they, they go in denial. For the pain is so strong. Suddenly, they, they, they will have a shock in the news that this is, cannot be from God. This is the most stupid thing ever. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Don't forget, please, to subscribe because those who subscribe to us, Allah will increase the size of your penis. Allahu Akbar. Science. And Muhammad, by the way, he is a specialist when it's come to penises, testicles. I mean, this guy just 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 give him the word uh, P, and he will he's there. Uh, a Muslim saying Christianity is a total lie. Why? Because Jesus says, "Be holy like your Father," and Muhammad he says, "Be penis like your God." If we compare between the God of the Christian and the God of the Muslims, the God of the Christian, he said, we will be holy in the heaven. We will be the same as angels, which mean pure, and we will not, not have sex. He said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels, which means our God, the holy God, in his holy house, he will have decent life for the promised people who accept him, believe in him. Your God... He is busy increasing the size of your penis in his workshop. So you go in the heaven. The second you enter, Allah now, he start working in your penis. He put it in the surgery machine. And the surgery machine will make it squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not going to mention the pain you will have in your penis, but Allah will make it long. And by the way, you never know, you might be a billionaire from this penis because you can sign contract with many cable companies to run internet through the galaxy like internet cable or maybe for oil like you know they, they spend billions of dollars to run oil or gas between two uh, countries by having your penis we save it it's for free we just put the gas in your penis and your testicles and they will appear in germany alhamdulillah very convincing allah is god i'm just convinced now that's it right Oh, you know what? I have another idea. We can use your penis as a chimney. So we can get rid of all the, the bad carbon in the earth So for, for a global warming. So what we do, we make fire in the place, all, all, all the chimney for all the manufacturer in the world. And then we put in the top of it your penis. And because your penis is in this, I mean, you can imagine where the gas will go. We'll never see it again. Here we go. It's a useful penis. Alhamdulillah. God, I mean, this is God. This is this is God talking. I mean, obviously, Muhammad is a prophet. What are you talking about? There is no way. Uh, just to show you how Muslims, even when they when they try to refute us, they say things that's stupid. Look, let me show you an example. This guy Abdul, he said, the Christian they pray for a dead God. Okay, aren't you Muslims believe that Jesus is alive? And the Bible teach that Jesus is alive. So why you are lying? Why you are a potato? Neither you Muslims, neither us Christians believe that Jesus is dead. So look how stupid you are. Very embarrassing. But I think because your endless penis is functioning, not your brain, you said such a state. I think this statement is coming from your penis. See the, you see how silly that God. What we Christian, we don't believe in Jesus. Actually, according to Islam, Jesus must be God. Because if you are saying that the one who die, he cannot be God, will you just confirm that Islam believed that Jesus is God? For until now, he never died in Islam. You see what I'm saying? I remember once a Muslim, you know, those Muslims, when they see a Christian, they cannot keep their mouth shut. So he's supposed to, he's like, Maybe he's watching too much YouTube. He said, how, you know, and, and, uh, you know, uh, 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 and, and there's a guy sitting, with, we were taking uh, dinner. There's an old guy with him. Both of them, they are Egyptian. The other guy, he's a Muslim too. He told him, don't go there. You want to talk about religion. The other guy told him, don't go there because he sat with me before. He told him, don't go there. 
in front of me he told him that loud don't go there the guy no no he said it's just a question you know i said i'm sure you don't mind i said okay no problem go ask me so he said to me well if jesus is son of god shouldn't his father save him and that will make him really god i said well, this is a really great question if jesus is the son of god his father he should save him all right the guy he got happy excited Oof. He, this Christian guy, he agreed. I said, but you know what? This is mean that Jesus must be God in Islam. He said, why? I said, well, his father in Islam saved him. How <laughs> 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 stupid. I mean, stupidity is amazing. Because if Jesus, to prove that he is a son of God, then his father should save him. Well, in the Quran, it says that Allah, he saved Jesus. That means he is son of God. The other guy, the, el the elder, he said to him, See, I told you, don't go there. Answer him now. Go, answer him. Answer him. And the guy, he starts looking around, you know, like, has changed the topic. <laughs> oh boy don't go there trust me don't go there you can debate those who have no idea you can play you can lie you can fabricate here we smash you with no mercy no mercy with liars until now we never saw someone call me he was able to prove a point in the top of that. Either he leaves now or he gets smashed. So now let's see now Fairuz how long it's going to take him before he leaves now. Right? Any Muslim have anything to say? Any Muslim? By the way, in the third part of the night, Yesterday, I saw Allah descending from heaven. And then I looked, it was a helicopter. Uh, this is not Allah. I was really disappointed. In the third part of the night, Allah, he come down every night. Which night? Your God, he think the earth is a flat. So he think there's only one time zone. And he come every third of a part of the night. Because if this is true, that means Allah never leave the earth. Never leave the zone of the earth. Because there's many, there's many, what, third part of the night? That it changed from town to town, from city to city, from territory to territory. I feel sorry for Allah. He keep going up, down, up, down, up, down. Here, Allah, where are you going? To the third. Uh, it's now, now it's the third time of the night in New Zealand. Now the third time in Australia. Now it's the third part of the night in uh, Mississippi. Now the third time in, in Missouri. Now the third time of the night in, in uh, Canada. What is that? I feel sorry for this God. Keep going up and down, keep up in the what? And all of this to say, who is calling me? What a silly God. So you need to come down from the seven heaven to say who is calling me. Why? You cannot hear them from there. Your reception is bad like my internet. All the reception is bad. So he go down. Who is calling me? Hello? Yeah. <sighs> Any Abdul have anything to say? Mayday, Mayday, last call. Any Abdul have th something to say? Yeah, we, we got them busted, those smiley stone. You know, they are paid by Muslims, obviously. We got them busted. We have many videos about them. Fardeen Islam wanted to call me. Okay, why he don't call me? My Skype is open. What Fardeen Islam want to call me? Why he's not calling? The last one who called us was Fairuz. And uh, Fairuz now is calling back. Hey, Fairuz. Hello. Yes, Farouz, what happened? Yeah, 
So what terrorist did he decide to leave Islam, my friend? Perus? He called to say I'm sorry. He apologized. That's a good sign. He noticed that when they accuse me of lying, it's not true. That's a good sign. But did you leave Islam, Perus? Why you hang up? Maybe Farouz decided to leave Islam. That's what we're going for. This guy, each time he come here, he accused me of lying. Liar, liar. I challenge you. Lying, 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 lying. Farouz, call me, call me back. I want to hear what happened. Did you leave Islam, my friend? You sound like very... Uh... Yeah, he sent me a text. says, okay, I agree. So, uh, Farouz, what now? You agree? Okay. So, Islam is stupid, right? Call me and leave Islam, my friend. Farouz, call me and leave this cult, my friend. You are, you are smarter than this garbage. What this? This is God? Imagine I am standing in the street right now speaking to you. But I don't know where are you from, Pakistan, I don't know. And then I say to you, if you believe in my God, my God will give you endless penis. You will die laughing at me. So why you don't call my friend and say I am out of the garbage of Islam? I respect you for agreeing that this is the truth. You know, actually, I, I felt that this guy, that's it's a waste of to talk to him. Because always he call me, he call me names and, you know, and it's a waste of time to talk to him. But, you know, the Lord, he can open eyes of people, not me. Call Pharaohs, call. Call and denounce the devil, my friend. It's time to denounce the devil Muhammad and his teaching. This is the devil. There is no way God, Almighty, he will teach such a teaching. That is not from God. Period. Shall we try to call Farouz? Maybe the Lord, he will touch his heart and he decide to leave Islam. Let us call him. Oh, he's, he's not going to answer now. So he's going through a situation now. Okay, I understand Farouz. Don't answer. No problem. He hang up. I understand that's mean he's going through suffering if I am him I will do the same you believe in God you pray for him five times a day and then you discover that this God is a pimp it's not easy it's not easy I feel for him pray for our friend here Farouz that he will see the truth and the truth will set him free pray for him for himself or his family that the Lord will open his eyes and he will leave the garbage of Muhammad be brave, Pharaohs, be brave, be a man. Life, you know, we live in this earth once. Then either we go to hell with Muhammad or we go to heaven with the Lord, the Messiah, the living Messiah. The living Messiah, remember this world, how powerful it is. The living. How in the world I want to follow the dead Muhammad who did everything wrong in the book of God. His ethic was bad, his teaching is bad, he himself was bad and he was ugly in his behavior. Instead of following the Messiah who did nothing wrong, wonderful person, wonderful loving person, who taught nothing but love, who is now alive in your belief and in my belief. How in the world I want to leave the Messiah? I will never do so over my dead body. I prefer to die. I prefer to burn. I prefer to go. You do anything with me, but I will never deny my Lord. So I'm not going to stay longer so you guys can download the video and please feel free to download the video cut it pieces this part about this uh, uh, Muslim Sheikh and we I am translating that will make it easier by voice 
but if you want you can translate your language by adding subtitle to the video you can cut it pieces uh, to make it easier for you to, to to translate and to share it with your friends so i want to say thank you all for being here i pray to the lord to open the eyes of Farouz and his family and all uh, uh, our beloved muslims we don't hate you my friend we love the muslims we love all mankind for god he loved the world he sent his only begotten son the world not the white not the black not the asian not the muslim not the christian not the hindu all the world is beloved by god if you are a hindu the lord he love you if you are a muslim the lord he love you but doesn't mean you are right he opened the door for you if you believe in him otherwise you don't belong to his house so we invite all people to knock at the door the lord he says knock at my door and i will open for you the lord the messiah is inviting you to join him oh what you need to do knock and i will open you see how, how simple it is knock and i will open god do not need debates you do not need even science that is a silly argument to prove to me that god was science because god is above science it's impossible for science to understand how jesus can make the blind see it's impossible for science to explain how mary she can have a son without a father it's impossible for science to say, okay, the person was dead and then he raised him from death. All of this have nothing to do with science. So either we believe in the almighty God and he is almighty for he himself is a miracle and that is Jesus. You see, all miracles happen done by prophets. They themselves, they never was the miracle except Jesus. Jesus, he himself is the miracle. Moses did miracle. But he is not the miracle. God gave him power. He did miracle for him. In the case of the Messiah, he is the miracle, for God is a miracle. His ability, his power, his ethic is a miracle. How I can be like God? I cannot. How I can have ethic like God? I cannot. How I can be loving like God? It's impossible for me. Yet he says, be holy like your father. You see how high the project is? How high the requirement of Christ? He don't want people to say Shahada and you go to heaven for this is a fraud. He don't accept hypocrisy. This is why he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you want to be with the Messiah? Do the will, not say Shahada. God is not a fool. You cannot fool God. He do not need someone to say, I witness God is one and Muhammad is a prophet and then you go to heaven. That is a fraud. Because what that have to do with you going to heaven unless you do what God say? And how you can be following God and you go have sex with the children? And how you can be with God and you are killing and raving and stealing? To be with God is to be the same as God wanted you to be. Imagine the Muslim when they enter the mosque, they take off their shoes. Why? They say the shoes are dirty. Wonderful. So how you enter the mosque with your, without shoe? Because the mosque is the house of God. But you are going to enter heaven with endless penis. And women there, they're, excuse my language, they have no panties. And all what you do, dahman, dahman, pushing hard. So the shoes is a problem for you. But you have been sex 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop having orgasm in the house of God is okay do you see the double stupid standard so they take off their shoes in the house of God which is just a building not really a real house but yet when you go to the real house of God in heaven you are going to do what you do how that can be how I can be sitting in the house of God with no shame and this God, he is happy. He provide me women I never met. You see, God created Adam and Eve. So if God, he says, okay, I will give you Eve like Adam. I understand a woman, she loved me. I love her. That's wonderful. But God who created women just for sex, women I never met. And all of them, they have the same look, which is very funny and stupid. Imagine you, you enter a dating website. And all the women in this dating website, they have the same face and they have the same name. Their name is Hur. 
and all of them they have transparent skin you can see through the marrow of their bones I mean how silly because if you have one million of them or one it's the same you are still seeing one woman they have the same face same look and all the men by the way in heaven they will look the same too all of them they will look like Joseph actually I remember once uh, I was doing a seminar in the Philippines so we were playing the video it's called description of paradise if you remember and the sheikh he was saying uh, everybody brother in the heaven of Allah will look like Joseph everybody brother and the funny there was a guy between those who they are he's a Christian but he's funny you know he don't mind to like let us say joke about himself he stood up he says by the way my name is Jesus as, as, as Joseph they will look like me the guy he have no teeth but he's very full of sense of humor he have no teeth I mean he looked really funny God bless him I'm not making fun but he was the like he was like really my name is Joseph I, they will look like me you know so, and people die laughing So all men, they will look like Joseph. All women, they will look like the whore. And if you have a billion women, all of them, they have the same face, the same name, and even they say the same song. Even they have a song. If you have my book, says on Allah, you will see that. So what the point of this woman? Having 10 women in your house, all of them, they have the same name, they have the same face, the same eye, the same height, and they speak the same language, and the same words. They don't even speak extra words. Like they are programmed, like, like toys. And all of us, we will look like Joseph. So imagine you, you enter a, a dating website, and then everybody, every profile have the same age, the same description, and the same face, and the same lips, and the same height. The same for the men and the women. This is how silly, how stupid it is. Be vigilant, be smart, be intelligent. Otherwise, the devil, he will not hesitate to make fun of you if you are stupid. And again, I repeat. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? I'm not going to say how foolish. I will say how fool. Because foolish is an act. Fool is you being a fool. Even it's more correct in English to say foolish, right? But I will say how fool are you? Because you adopted foolishness and now you are the fool. Not only you are doing foolishness, you are the fool. You embrace foolishness. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And soon we are going to publish a few books for free. And uh, one of them is a deception of Allah in the Indonesian language very soon is going to be out for free all right so thank you may the Lord bless you and may the Lord save you all from the evil and evil doers doesn't matter who they are love the Muslims we love the Hindus we love the Buddhas we love the atheists but the question is do they want that love do they love the Lord as he loved them that is depend on you and it's your choice christ is lord islam is false and we see you soon again bye, -bye.